It's hard to see past the beauty and majesty of the ocean. But step past its glossy veneer, and suddenly, you are standing at the edge of a frontier. In an environment of such enormous biodiversity, one animal is truly unique. The Turritopsis nutricula, known as the immortal jellyfish. Most organisms are hardwired to basically live and then die, and for whatever reason, this animal just doesn't. Marine biologist Thomas Reynolds knows jellyfish well. They're fragile and require special food and light. But what sets the immortal apart from other jellyfish is the ability of its cells to morph from one kind of cell to another, to reverse its aging process, and then grow again. Some have even called it the Benjamin Button of jellyfish. I think it, the fact that that organism does this uh, gives us added hope uh, that it, in our case we might really be able to do this to heart cells and others might be able to do this to brain cells or spinal cord cells for spinal cord injury. Deepak Srivastava is a pediatric cardiologist at the Gladstone Institute for Cardiovascular Disease. Two years ago, his stem cell team managed to create a healthy beating heart cell in a mouse using the same regeneration mechanism as the immortal jelly. He says these jellyfish provide a natural example for what is called transdifferentiation, a rare biological process in which one kind of cell morphs into another. When somebody has a heart attack and part of their muscle dies, they can't regenerate any of it. By redeploying nature's own toolkit into those cells, we've been able to convert them into brand new muscle. Watch how a jellyfish propels itself through the water, and you might begin to see the medical implications. Researchers have likened its undulations to the rhythmic beating of a heart muscle, a potential beacon for scientists as they explore the new frontiers of regenerative medicine. For CNS News, this is Charles Berkowitz.